Also on 7, a South Florida woman furious about an abandoned boat behind her house. It's not her vessel, but the city says it's still her problem. Tonight, she hopes Help Me Howard with Patrick Frazier can alleviate this sinking feeling. For 40 years, Norma Patron has loved living on the water, looking at the boats, relaxing by the canal, till her dock turned into a dump. It looks horrible, it, and it's getting worse every day. A few years ago, her husband rented out dock space to a fellow to put his 65-foot boat. But a year and a half ago, the boat owner stopped coming by, and it started deteriorating. It's horrendous. It's awful. Awful is right. The paint is peeling, barnacles growing as the boat slowly sinks. My mom has had to rent bilge pumps from a place down the street at 100 bucks a day to try to keep the boat floating. At one point, oil started leaking from the boat. The state had to pay to clean that up. Then Pompano Beach ordered Norma to move it. Either that or, or the city wanting to fine my mom $1,000 a day. The constant barrage of complaints from the government took its toll on Mr. Patron. My dad, I know, was stressed over the whole thing. I'm sure it didn't help his heart condition. Um, and he passed away in January. Now the boat is Norma and Melanie's problem. It's just not fair that Miles is not being pursued and my mother, which is who's the easy target, is being pursued. Miles is Miles Panero, the man who put the boat here. When the city of Pompano Beach couldn't find him, a judge issued this warrant for his arrest. At the same time, the city ordered Norma to show up in court. I guess to resolve getting the boat removed from the property. There is one little bit of good news. Panero never registered the boat in his name. The city believes since it's in no one's name, anyone could salvage it. But Melanie can't find anyone to take it. It was a last resort. She called Help Me Howard. This is unfortunate for Norma and her daughter and for the government agencies that now have a problem they did not create, but that they have to correct. We all know that the boat owner is to blame, but the law holds the property owner responsible because it's the best way to ensure that the boat is removed. After we interviewed the Patrons, they headed to court. City of Pompano Beach versus Norma Patron. The city attorney told the judge they've gone after the boat owner. The city has prosecuted him as well as currently a warrant after his arrest. The city says they aren't trying to punish Norma. They just want the boat moved. Uh, we're not looking to take her money. We're not looking for other punishment. But we have, again, no recourse at this point except to file this action, appear before the court, and use the power of any sanctions we might have to get it removed. But the court discovered what Norma has discovered. It's not that easy to get someone to haul a 65-foot boat away. What I'm all we're going to do in this case okay. is I'm going to reset the arraignment in 30 days. Norma has no idea what she will do and just hopes someone wants to take a 65-foot boat off an 81-year-old woman's hands. I would like somebody to come and take it away and, uh, you know, get rid of the headache. Well, Pompano Beach is trying to help Norma. They've given her another 30 days to try to get the boat removed. We've spoken to several companies to see if they want to salvage the boat and keep it. So far, no luck. If you know of anyone who might like a rundown 65-footer, give us a call. Norma would appreciate it. A boatload of problems left you a wreck? Don't get that sinking feeling. Sail over to us. We'll try to salvage the situation for you. With this Help Me Hard, I'm Patrick Frazier, 7 News.